You know, today we continue to study the Gospels. This, of course, is amazing. We've got Matthew and Mark. We're studying the last chapter of the book of Mark, Mark chapter 16. Now, the ninth verse of Mark chapter 16 is amazing. I just want to highlight this right now. It says, now when he arose early on the first day of the week, the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene. Jesus Christ arose on the first day of the week. Do you know what day that is? Well, I believe that is Sunday. Now that's amazing because a lot of people ask the question, if Sabbath begins on Friday night and finishes Saturday night, how come we worship on Sunday? Well, they had the habit of worshiping on the day that Jesus Christ appeared to Mary, first of all. And so when we come to church on Sunday, we celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And so every Sunday I say he's alive. Praise God. God is resurrected. Very important. Get your Bible guide and turn today to today's passage. If you don't have the Bible guide, why not? You can write and use the addresses at the bottom of the screen and get yours. And uh, thank you so much for many people who've responded. We appreciate that very much. We trust the work of the Holy Spirit in you. When you give an offering in any amount, that is tremendous. And you can go to BibleDiscoveryTV.com, BibleDiscoveryTV.com, and click on Donate Here. Make a donation, whatever God speaks to you. And then, of course, we'll send you the Bible guide. Very important. Now, as we look at this, we have to ask a question. What are the ways of truth? God is speaking to us this year as we've decided on truth. And Jesus Christ is alive. That's the way of truth here. Jesus Christ is not dead. He's not some guy who came and lived a life and died and that's it. That, that, that's not what happened here. Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And that's, of course, what we read in Mark chapter 16. Now, there's a lot in this passage that is not considered uh, part of the uh, scripture by many or some, but I believe all of Mark chapter 16 is part of the scripture for lots of reasons. I don't have time to get into that now, but we'll talk about that later. We read Mark 15 to 16 today, looking at Mark 16, 1 to 15. Father, I pray right now in Jesus' name, the strong name and the faithful name of Jesus Christ, that you would help us to hear you, help us to know you. And in Jesus' name, thank you, Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of God, I pray that you would come to us and show us what you intended to say here and help us to believe it in Jesus' name. Amen. Look at the first verse in this chapter. It says, now when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome brought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. And when they said amongst themselves, who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? But you know, when they got there, they looked up and they saw that the stone had been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in long white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. Now, this is absolutely amazing. Jesus Christ rose from the dead as he said he would before he died because he is fully God. Now, remember, they're coming to the tomb and they know that there's going to be a problem because that stone they put in front of the tomb was huge. You, you need a whole battalion of men to move it. But the stone was already moved. What happened? How did that take place? But then more important, Jesus wasn't there. He rose from the dead. There's so many miracles surrounding the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It's amazing. But look at this next verse in chapter 16, verse 7. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you into Galilee. There you will see him. As he said to you, so they went out quickly. They fled from the tomb. For they trembled and were amazed and they said nothing to anyone, for they 
were afraid. Isn't that something? Fear and joy were part of the women's revelation. Fear and joy. See, beloved, they were unique to the Lord, the women were. And the women are appeared to first. I love that. God, because the women, of course, the, the woman, Eve, uh, fell that way, and her husband followed her. But now the women are first to receive Jesus Christ, are first to see him. That is stunning and amazing. I love that. That is absolutely awesome. All right. Now we go to chapter 16, verse 9. Watch this. Now when he rose early on the first day of the week, the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven demons. She went and told those who had been with him as they mourned and wept. And when they heard that he was alive and had been seen by her, they did not believe her. After that, he appeared in another form to two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it to the rest, but they did not believe them either. Well, later he appeared to them or to the 11 as they sat at the table and he rebuked their unbelief and their hardness of heart because they did not believe those who had seen him after he had risen. And he said to them, listen to me, go into all the world and preach the good news, the gospel to every creature. Of course, this is the, the great commission. For the Lord rebuked the unbelief of his disciples. He rebuked their unbelief. And the women believed and saw him, but some doubted. You see, it's amazing when you begin to understand how some always doubt. There's always a reason not to believe. You've got to prove it. You've got to do this. You've got to do that. When we pray, God is still alive today. You know, it's the same time in his resurrection when they saw him. It's the same time as it is now. God's Holy Spirit came on them a little bit later and, and the Holy Spirit just burst out on the day of Pentecost. What an amazing scene that was. We'll get to that. It's coming up. And all of that is amazing. And yet some still don't believe. Why not? Well, because unbelief is part of their way to, to say that God is not real. But God is real. They didn't find his body. His body hasn't been found for 2,000 years. He rose from the dead, beloved. Jesus Christ is alive. He's alive right now. He's alive today. And if you pray to him and ask and say, Lord, come into my life, I want to have you at the center of my being. Be the Lord of my life. Jesus will do that and your life will change forever. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out the full episode of Quick Study and follow us on social media. Start your daily devotional today.